Oh, this is a bit of a mad one. Yeah, it's a lot, isn't it? There's a lot of people here, which is really nice. But um, yeah, it's intense. Today we're here at Chelmsford Crown Court along with hundreds of protesters in support of the Stansted 15, a group of activists who cut through a fence at Stansted Airport and stopped a deportation charter flight from taking off two years ago. still cannot believe that we've been charged with an offence that could lead to all of us or some of us spending some time in jail. The disruption to our lives has been this tiny window into way that thousands of people's lives in this country are disrupted by what the Home Office does to them. What's at stake if they were to be given harsh custodial sentences? What would that mean for other people protesting against deportations or maybe fracking or unlawful arrest? These people have faced a nine week trial after 17 months on bail. So effectively they've been punished by prosecution and it's the intimidation effect of the offence, not just the sentencing. I think it's very unlikely they will get custodial sentences because I think the state will pull back from that because it will be such a direct indication of state repression. So instead it's about setting a precedent for intimidating and repressing activists. <laughs> has shown that they're willing to put their freedom on the line to end the hostile environment and to stop a deportation charter flight. It's likely in the coming years that we are going to see many more such deportation charter flights. In fact, one is due to be taking off today. So let's all think of a very simple question. What are we going to do personally, politically, collectively to end the brutal hostile environment once and for all? convictions and the 10 week trial that have led to them are an injustice that have profound implications for all of our lives. The convictions will drastically limit our ability to work, to travel and to take part in everyday life. Yet people are seeking asylum in this country face much worse than this. They are placed in destitution. They are treated like prisoners even though they have committed no offences and their lives are placed in limbo by the Home Office. Justice will not be done until the hostile environment and the Home Office's brutal and secretive deportation and detention regimes are ended. This must end immediately. No borders, no nations, stop deportations! No borders, no nations, stop deportations! I spent a lot of the last few days thinking about what it would mean to be inside and now I don't have to think about that and I'm really happy because I forgot to bring a toothbrush so but yeah this it's still it's still a, a chilling day for anybody that engages with direct action for anybody that engages in our political system that people that are effectively there to stop the harmful and we now know illegal deportation of people to places where they face torture violence persecution and death can be tried convicted and then sentenced as terrorists is it's a disgusting, disgusting day for our democracy, for our society, and we should all be very, very worried about where this is going. Today has been a massive win for the Stansted 15, but the fight really is only just beginning. The hostile environment doesn't look like it's going away anytime soon. And while it's in place, it is likely that there will be more protests and deportation disruptions of this sort. With the government taking a harsher and harsher line on the criminalisation of protests, it is critical that all of us, no matter what our capacity, are on hand to vocally demonstrate our solidarity every step of the way.